Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome or welcome back to our channel and our kitchen. Yes, we are back at it again today with another recipe and fall is right around the corner so we've got three, yes three, raw vegan apple sandwich recipes for you guys and for your kiddos. So your kiddos are probably back in school back to the grind, and this makes for a fantastic after-school snack. So you know what they say, an apple a day gives you more energy to play. So everybody's got a different favorite apple variety, and we're gonna experiment with all three. We've got a Granny Smith, we've got a Red Delicious, pretty classic, and we have a Fuji apple. So let's get rolling. If you guys are into these raw vegan recipes, if you want more healthy plant-powered meals, give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button up in the corner. Make sure you've got that bell click to turn on notifications. You'll get alerted whenever we put out brand new Eat, Move, Rest vids on this channel. As always, leave me some love in the comments below. Let me know what you thought, which one was your favorite, what your kiddos thought, and be sure to follow Dusty and I daily across all social media, especially on Instagram. We're pretty active there right now. So at Erin Stanzik and at DB Stanzik, let's get rolling. So apple sandwich recipe number one is going to be a tried and true timeless classic. We've got our red delicious apple and we're going to be making a PB and J, but upgraded. So instead of peanut butter, we've got the healthier option of almond butter, raw vegan almond butter in this case. And then we are going to be making a blackberry chia jam. So let's get started. Step number one, turn your apple on its side and we're going to make thin slices about a quarter inch thick. So when you slice your apples lengthwise, it makes it really easy to remove the seeds. And if you wanna go a step further, you can use a cookie cutter and make fun shapes. Next step is to take your frozen or fresh blackberries, or you could use raspberries. Mash them up in a bowl. And stir in a little bit of chia seed to your liking. I would suggest about one tablespoon. While our chia jam is thickening, we're gonna go ahead and take our almond butter and spread it onto our apple layers. This is your chance to get creative. You can do every other, or you can add almond butter and jam to every layer. Never mind a bruised apple. There is no such thing as ugly fruit. It won't hurt you. It's still gonna be nutritious and delicious. <laughs> now we're gonna add on our chia jam. Yum, doesn't that look amazing? This triple decker, quadruple decker apple sandwich might be a little intense to take a bite out of. You can always make this half the size, but we're going for curb appeal here. We've got a blog to post. <laughs> for apple sandwich number two, we are gonna be using our Fuji apple, and then the other ingredients you will need are a ripe speckled banana, about a tablespoon of cacao powder, and some strawberries. First thing we're gonna do is peel our ripe banana, place it into a dish, and mash it up, mix it up with our cacao powder, and you're gonna be left with a chocolatey sweet sauce. Now I should also mention that if you care to add additional sweetener, agave or maple syrup make great options, and same goes for that chia jam from our first apple sandwich recipe. We just sliced up our Fuji apple and we're gonna go ahead and punch some heart shapes into the middle of this one. Totally optional, but you all know I like to play with my food. Next up, we're gonna chop our strawberries. So now once you've got everything chopped and whipped, go ahead and put your chocolate sauce on your apple sandwich. Layer on those delicious berries. And we're not gonna pile this one quite as high. 
We're gonna make these bite size. How pretty is that? Yum, gorgeous. So now we are on to our third and final raw vegan apple sandwich recipe, and this might be your fall favorite. We're gonna do a tart caramel apple hemp sandwich with a dash of cinnamon. So for this recipe, you will need one green Granny Smith apple, a touch of cinnamon, about three soaked pitted dates, and about a tablespoon worth of hemp seed. Step number one, we're going to make our date caramel. So we're gonna take our dates along with their soaked water, and we're gonna add in just a dash of cinnamon and get blending. So now we're gonna go ahead and cut our Granny Smith apple, the same as the first ones. Next step, we are going to take our date caramel Place it on our Granny Smith delicious apple. Just a touch of hemp seed on each layer as well. Again, that's gonna give you those healthy omega-3 fatty acids. This time, we're gonna leave the tops off. We're gonna have little bite-sized hors d'oeuvres. These could be perfect party appetizers. And you can see how nicely the seeds just pop right out of the middle when you cut an apple this way. It gives you a lot more fruit. You don't have to waste so much of the core. I'm gonna top with just a touch of cinnamon for that extra spice. Okay, you guys, so there's our three raw vegan apple sandwich recipes. I hope you enjoyed all three. Let's take a close-up look at our final products. We've got our classic almond butter and jam on our red delicious apple. Then over here, we've got our chocolate-covered strawberry on our Fuji apple. And then we've got our Caramel Apple Delight Bites on our Granny Smith. Feel free to get creative stacking and using different sauce combinations, different fruity combinations to make your favorite apple sandwich. Like I said, great for after school, great for mom, great for kiddos, great for everybody, and they are so good for you. So if you guys like this video, if you wanna see more like it, give it a thumbs up, and like I said, hit that subscribe button and click that bell to turn on notifications so you'll get alerted whenever we put out new nutritious and delicious recipes on this channel. And leave me some love in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of all three recipes. Follow Dusty and I daily on Instagram at Aaron Stanzik, at DB Stanzik, and until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Who's ready for the taste test? Hey, are you guys ready for the mother load? I had to break it down into biteable portions. <laughs> Caramel apple delight. Mm. Fall favorite for sure. Chocolate covered strawberry. Mm. Our kiddo is gonna be eating good in the neighborhood. <laughs>